Hey, what's going on? How are you guys doing? Um, I'm sorry uh, there was any mix ups yesterday. I know I was having a hard time with uh, audio on a couple of videos. I hope um, this works out. I'm going to be going over some things on how to multiply polynomials. This is uh, an expansion on what we were talking about yesterday with the distributive property. So we're still going to be distributing. Um, you can find this sheet. Um, either you could just literally go to Kuta Software and look up multiplying polynomials. Um, or it's uh, it's linked on the class page. So we're going to go through a, a bunch of these. Um, I know this looks like busy work, but these are, again, I, and I hate giving you guys just work for the sake of doing work, but these are fundamental skills we have to have um, in order to kind of move forward with the more advanced stuff, okay? Um, so right now we're talking about um, pretty much going from a factored form to a more standard form, uh, and our next step will be taking things like trinomials and I'm putting one apart. Uh, so first, uh, polynomial. Um, polynomials are, sorry, my cat's calling me something. Um, polynomials are uh, things with multiple terms. Um, and so terms are things that are separated um, by uh, addition or subtraction signs. So if we take a look um, over here at this one, uh, we have a couple different terms. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm going to on. Um, yes. Sorry, I know if the chair squeaking doesn't drive me crazy, I'll drive you crazy. Um, so, real basic thing, if we have two polynomials here, um, we have two things here, and we want to simplify them. I don't know why that came up. Um, if we have... Um, if we have two things here and we want to kind of combine them and simplify them, what we can do is we can multiply them. So we have two things here. We have a polynomial here, and I know there's only one thing here, but this is a polynomial too. So we want to simplify them. And again, we're multiplying, so the word product is something that very much applies. So we're going to multiply 6 times 2v and 6 times 3. So just what we were doing yesterday, just multiplying. So I have 6v times 2v. And then I also have 6b times 3. Now, I won't do all of them like this, but it's just important to know that we have a couple things that we didn't have yesterday. Um, we have coefficients here, 6 and 2. Well, since we're multiplying, 6 times 2 is 12. But we also have v times another v. Um, if we have v times another v, the shorthand way of writing that would be v to the second power. The second power means a, a number times itself, right? So this would be 12v squared. Um, easy way to do this is just count the number of v's you have. I have one here, I have one here, I have two here. Okay. On the other half, uh, still the same thing. 6 times 3 is going to be 18. How many v's do I have? Just the one. Okay. So if we simplify this, we're going to get 12v squared plus 18v. That is a terrible box. I'm very sorry about that. Okay. Um, so again, here, we're going to distribute the 7 to both. Um, so we have 7 times negative 5v um, plus 7 times negative 8. So you, gotta, you can either look at this as minus 8 or, as I like to say, this is really plus a negative 8. Um, that'll be important as we kind of go a little bit through this. Um, but here, 7 times 5 is 35. I have 1v. Just watch. This is a positive times a negative. That will be negative. Uh, here I have seven time, uh, plus 7 times a negative 8. That will be plus a negative 56 or negative 56. So the same thing I'll say to you guys yesterday. If you're having a hard time with the stuff and you just want some basic kind of stuff to practice with, um, no big deal. Just focus on the multiplication, right? 7 times uh, 5 is 35. Sorry. 7 times 8 is 56, okay? Um, if you've got that down, you're good with that, then just check your signs. I have a positive times a negative, that's negative. I have a positive times a negative, that's a negative. So again, these are basic skills that pretty much uh, everybody can do. Um, and yeah, so we'll do one more of those, and then we'll, we'll start taking a look at some of these more uh, advanced ones, okay? So, 2x times 2x, and 2x times negative 3. Well, 2x 
times negative 2x plus 2x times negative 3. Well, 2x times negative 2x, well, 2 times 2 is 4, right? But that's positive and negative. And I have 1, 2x's. And over here, I have 2x times negative 3. Well, that's 6. It's negative 6, right? And I have 1x. All right. Okay, now we got to get into things. These are the kind of things we really want to know for this year. Um, so say, for example, for number 5 here. I need to distribute everything. Okay, I need to distribute the 2 to here, the 2 into here, the regular 2 to here, and the regular 2 to here. Okay, so we're going to have all sorts of multiplication. Okay, so um, we should have four different terms by the time uh, we're all done. Um, what we can do from there is we might be able to um, go ahead and simplify a little bit. Um, there's a couple different ways to do this. I'll show you guys a few different strategies. Um, I'm going to show you guys the uh, FOIL method, which is just a distributed property, and then we'll talk about the box method. Um, you can choose whichever one you like, okay? Um, but the FOIL method, it's just a way to kind of remember this. This is going to be firsts, right? So the first term here is 2n, and the first term here. So that's 2n times 6n, which will be 12n squared. Next one will be FOIL, F-O-I-L. So it's going to be the outer ones. So the first one and the last one. So the ones all the way on the outside. 2n times 1 is, well, anything times 1 is just itself. Okay? So that was the outer, the inside FOIL, first outer inner, that looks like an E. Um, I'm getting the hang of this writing thing, that's right, guys. Well, um, our next one is going to be our inner ones. So 2 times 6n, which will be 12n, and the last will be the last 2 times the 1. 2 times 1 is 2. So finally, what do we get? 12n squared plus 2n plus 12n plus 2. Um, what you should immediately recognize is that these are what we call like terms. 2n's and 12n's. So again, like we were talking about yesterday, it was boxes of bananas, right? So I have 12 crates of banana, uh, 2 boxes of bananas, 12 boxes of bananas, and 2 just spare leftover bananas. Well, the crates stay the same. Now, inside the boxes, though, I have 2 boxes of bananas and 12 boxes of bananas. That is 14 boxes of bananas and just those 2 spare bananas sitting on the floor next to them. Okay? So, again... Like terms, something uh, everybody can kind of recognize, that everybody can do. Um, it's a common question I would be asking in class. Um, is that these are like terms. How do we know they're like terms? They have the same variable, in this case, n, raised to the same exponent. In this case, we don't write it, there's a little one there. Okay? So, again, we can't add these because it's to the second power and this is to the first power. But we can go ahead and combine these, Okay? So I'm going to do um, a few more of these um, just because we really want to know them, and then we'll take a look at some of the more advanced ones down at the bottom. Um, uh, we'll do another two like this, and then we'll, I'll talk about the box method. And if you prefer that, then we can do that, okay? So again, we've got the first. 2n times uh, 4n is going to be 8n squared. So that's your first, right? Your... Outer ones, well, 4n times 6, well, 4 times 6 is 24, and how many n's do I have? Just the 1. I have the inner, okay, so 1 times 2n, so that will be 2n, and our last, 1 times 6 is 6, okay? Again, we can combine these two like terms in the middle, 24 boxes of bananas and 2 boxes of bananas is going to be 26 boxes of bananas, 8 crates of bananas, and just 6 bananas sitting on the floor. Okay? So again, if you're good with this, you can you can go ahead and do them this way. It, again, it's a, a nice acronym, F-O-Y-L, FOIL. 
Um, that being said, it really is just a distributed property. What are we doing? We're distributing the four to the first one and the outer one, and we're distributing the one to the inner one and the last one. So it, it's really just a fancy acronym for the distributed property. Same thing we were doing yesterday. Okay. So one more like that. I'm not going to write any of the acronyms. So first is going to be oops, sorry, x times six x will be six x squared. Okay, there's a one here, so six times one is six. Um, minus 2x, so x times negative 2 is going to be negative 2x. Um, uh, inner, so negative 3 times 6, well, that's going to be negative 18, and there's just a 1x. And the last thing, negative 3 and negative 2, positive 6. Watch your signs, okay, again, positive times a positive, positive, positive times a negative, negative, negative times a positive, negative, negative times a negative, positive, and don't forget to combine your like terms. So I have negative 2x and uh, negative 18, that will be negative 20x plus 6. Okay, so again, we can't combine these. This is as simple as it's going to get. Good. Um, the other thing that people like is they like this, uh, this box method. Um, now, I didn't learn this because I grew up in the 90s and <laughs> the early 2000s. Um, but essentially what you do is you're going to take uh, an EP, put it up here. We're going to put a negative 2 here. We're going to put a 6P here and a positive 2 here. And what we're going to do is we're going to make this box. Okay? Okay, so I'm sorry. Drift a little bit there. Okay? Um, six, 6P times AP is going to be. 48p squared. So we're just multiplying this. It's kind of like doing area, kind of like doing length times width. Um, 6 times 12p, uh, 6 times negative 2 is going to be negative 12p. 2 times 8p is going to be 16p. And 2 times negative 2 will be negative 4. Okay? So again, those are the same things. It, it was. It's still the same thing. It's still first, uh, outer, Inner and last. Okay, sorry. Okay, and we can combine like terms, right? 48p squared. Um, 16 minus 12 is going to be 4p minus 4. Okay, so again, you can do it this way if you like. I'll do one more that way, um, and then you can kind of do the rest of these as you wish. Um, I will go over 13 with you in a few more, okay? Um, okay, so again, if we're going to use the box method over here, oops, sorry. what do we got? We've got uh, 6p, positive 8, right? And we've got 5p and negative 8. Okay, let's put them up. Okay, 5p times 6p. 30p squared, 5p times 8p, 40p, 6p times negative 8 is going to be negative 48p, and 8 times negative 8 is negative 64, okay? So if we write that out, we've got 30p squared minus 48p plus 40p minus 64, and again, negative 48 and positive 40, we can Go ahead and put together. So 48, negative 48 plus 40 is going to be negative 8, and this is us right here. Okay? So again, if you want to double check, please use a calculator if you have to. It's no big deal. Multiply them. Just make sure you get the numbers right, okay? Um, so you guys can go take a look at any of these other ones on here. Um, I do want to take a look at number 13 and tell you what you're not allowed to do. So I'll do this in red so I so can say, like, don't do this. So I'm going to put no in, like, big letters on it. No. 4p minus 1 to the second power does not equal, does not equal, uh, whatever, 16p squared plus 1. In other words, you cannot 
do this. No, 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 no. I see people do this. I've seen people do this at the college level, guys. Please, you cannot do that, okay? Um, it seems so easy, right? Just square everything inside. That's not how this works, okay? So I'm sure that's why this question is here. So let's do this the right way, okay? Um, go back to a nice friendly color. I'll do it a different color. Like, I don't know. Okay. All right, so what does this really mean, though? Purple. What does this really mean? This really means 4p minus 1 times 4p minus 1. Okay? So using whatever method you want, you can solve this, but just remember, go ahead, take it out, and write it. Um, as we get a little bit further over the next couple of weeks, you're going to see there's definitely a pattern here. So this is going to end up being... 16p squared minus 4p minus 4p plus 1. So while you can take that shortcut that we initially just talked about, there definitely is a shortcut, and that's essentially we're going to square this number. So 4p squared becomes this. We're going to square this number, and that's going to be the end. Okay. What you need to do in the middle is take this number times this number. So negative 1 times 4 is going to be uh, negative 4p, and take that and multiply times 2. Okay, so that will be how we do this. That will be a very important thing. We'll talk about that in a few weeks. But no, there is a pattern. It's just not that simple square 4p and square negative 1. All right. Now, moving down a little bit to some of these guys here. Okay. They will ask this to you on your regions. They will throw one of these in there. Um, just to keep you on your toes. I will tell you that we don't know how we don't have to know how to take these apart. In other words, we don't need to know how to factor some of these. Although there will be maybe one or two graphs that we'll be familiar with. Um, the big thing with these is we're still doing the distributive property. Here's the thing: all you have to remember is that everything gets distributed everywhere. So you can't use that FOIL method even though we're kind of using the FOIL method because there's no first outer inner last, okay? The big thing is here, you should have six results. So you want a quick thing, I have two here, I have three here, two times three is six. I should have six results when I'm done. A uh, very common mistake I see people make is they, they, they don't get six results. They miss one along the way. Uh, this is where if you like to use that kind of box method thing, it comes in very handy. It's a little time consuming, it takes up a little bit more paper. Um, but we'll do one of those like this. Okay, so first we'll say 4a times 6a squared. Well, that's uh, 4 times 6 is 24, and I have 1, 2, 3 a's. Okay, 4a times negative a will be, well, negative 4, and I have 1a here and 2 a's here. So 1, 2, good. And the last one, you know, 4a times 2, that will be. 4 times 2 is 8, and I just have the 1a over here. Now i got to do 2. 2 times 6a squared, well, 2 times 6 is 12. And I just have the 2a's over here. 2 times negative a is going to be negative 2a, no big deal there. And 2 times 2 is 4. Okay? Uh, we do have a couple things we can combine here, though. We only have this, so we're going to bring it straight down. Right, the third power. Now the second power, I have a negative 4 and a positive 12. So 12 minus 4 is going to be 8. And I have a 1a here, 1a here. 8 minus 2 is going to be 6. And I just have this lonesome 4 out here by itself. Okay? So again, what do we have? We have, I don't know, 24 boats full of bananas with 8 crates of banana with six boxes of bananas and four bananas. Okay, so again, we can't simplify anything else out here, okay? So I will get, I'm gonna do this last one uh, with the area method, um, with, the, with the box method. Um, and then uh, I'll leave you guys to it. You guys can kind of take these as you go, all right? So we'll say we're gonna have a 7K and negative three. What am I gonna have? I'm gonna have K squared. I'm gonna have negative 2K and I'm going to have 7. Okay, again, I should have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 answers. k squared times 7k, I'll have 7 times 1, and I have 1, 2, 3 k's. 
I have k squared times negative 3, that's negative 3k squared. I have negative 2 times 7, that's negative 14, and I have 1, 2k's. I have negative 2 times negative 3, which is going to be 6, and I just have a 1k. I have 7 times 7 is 49, and just a 1k there. 7 times negative 3 is going to be negative 21. Um, I would say, as you're going from this back to your written form, go ahead and uh, go ahead and start combining those light terms in the process. So we have 7k to the third. All right, so my k squares, I have uh, negative 14 and negative 3. So that will be negative 17k squared. My regular k's, I have 49 and 6. Um, that will be uh, 55k. And then just the lumps and 20, negative 21 by itself, OK? So again, um, you guys should be able to do any of these. Um, just watch your negative signs and things like that. Um, the answers are here. The answer, if you scroll down, the answers are here. OK, so if you want to check them uh, and make sure you guys know what you're talking about, you guys can make sure that you know what you're talking about, OK? Um, anyway, give those a try, and next week we'll get into factoring. Again, this should all be things you guys are familiar with, uh, but if not, then we'll get you guys caught up, right? Um, thank you. I hope somebody's watching this. Okay, so <laughs> if you're watching this, uh, send me an email. Let me know you're watching this, um, and I will uh, I'll keep you guys posted. Okay, have a great weekend. Be safe. Thank you.